Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial by LearnPythonTutorial.com and today we're going to talk about variables. This is your complete guide to variables. We will explain how variables work in Python. They're very simple but if you're coming from another programming language it might be a little confusing to you. There is no need to declare a variable before you assign it and there's no need to uh, indicate the type of variable or type of data your, your variable is going to hold before you assign it. So basically we just cut out a bunch of steps with Python. Python's you know very smart when it comes to variables. So how do we create a variable? Let's look at that first. So let's bring up our Python interpreter. I'll slide this up for you and we're gonna create a variable. We're gonna give the variable name var for variable. We're gonna set it equal, which we're doing is assigning it a value of nine, which is an integer. Hit return, and there you go. That's all you need to do to create a variable. So to call a variable, we just type in var. Hit return, and there is our variable. So what just happened there? Let's look at that. I drew a nice little picture for you guys. I'm not a very good artist or graphic designer or whatever, but hopefully this gets the point across to you. So we got var. Var is our name, our variable. And all var really is is a label or a name tag that points to something, references a block of memory. And in that block of memory, which is referred to as an object in Python, that block of memory contains a value, a type, the type of information, like in our case, we got the value of nine and it's an integer. So we got value nine type of information is um, integer, sorry, and reference counter. Now with the reference counter, it's just counting where it's gonna reference what the variable is. So uh, the variable here, say this is our first variable, so it's probably the reference counter is gonna be one. So it just helps show the connection between these two. So the important thing you need to remember about variables in Python, they do not contain any type of information or they don't contain anything. All they do is point. It's like you say, here's my name. You got one of those, hello, my name is name tags. It's not really holding you as a person. All it's doing is saying, this is my name, and it's pointing over here to where the information can actually be found. All right? That is the basics of a variable in Python. So we saw how you create a variable, and we assign it to 9. And then when we do that, what actually happens is we created an object with a value of 9. The type of information is integer, because Python's smart enough to figure that out, that 9 is an integer. And then the reference counter helps reference the variable. The variable just points or references the object where to find it. So that is very simple how to make a variable in Python. So now let's talk about the life cycle of a variable in Python. On our website here I drew up a life cycle of Python. Um, basically a Python variable, I'm sorry. An object is created, so an, a memory space is created to hold the value 9 and the type, like I said earlier. The variable is created, but it is not really created until it's assigned to a value of 9. The equal symbol is assigned to 9. So if I went var and then nothing after that, let's try var1. If I type in var1 and hit return, uh, we get var1 is not defined. So technically we didn't create a variable for that. So var1 is not pointing to anything. So how do we get it to point to something? This is the way I look at it. You got var, and then the equal sign is actually pointing to the value. So var1, we'll say, is equal. We're assigning it. It's pointing to 1. Now 1 is going to be an object, an object that contains the value of 1 and the type information for 1, which is integer. So this, all this is doing is var1 is pointing to 1 to a memory, a, sp a space of memory, if you want to think of it as a bucket, 
containing memory that holds the value 1, the type information as an integer, and a, and a reference counter. So I hit return. And now if I call var 1, I'm going to get 1. Pretty simple, guys. Um, it's important to know that we can't assign a variable to a variable. So if I do var1 is equal to var, well, you might think, well, var1 is equal to var, so var1 is going to point to var, and then var is going to point to the, the object. No. What actually happens here is I create this, and then I call var1, it point, it, we get 9. So var, basically what I said was var1 points to an object. So now, try kind of not trying to confuse you. All right, var1 here. We'll do this in another tutorial, but var1 is equal to var. So basically, this when we did this, this changed to nine right here, and all this var1 is doing is pointing to the same object up here. All right, so var1 points to the same object as nine. So does var. So if I go var is nine, var1 is nine. They're both pointing to the same object, not to each other. Now, objects can um, point to other objects, but variables variables cannot reference other variables. So, if I create another one, let's say var two equals, and we're going to make this a list of var one or var and var one. Here, um, made a list here. Var two is now the objects. Var two's object, which is a list, is now those objects are now pointing to both nine or just actually one object here. Hope that's not confusing you. This var is pointing to an object, which happens to be nine. This var one is pointing to the same object that happens to be a nine, and then var two is pointing to a list object, which then that list object points to this object. Um, hope that doesn't confuse you guys. I know it sounds kind of complicated, but it really isn't. Variables just point to objects. So um, if I bring up my drawing here again, just trying to do this without confusing you guys. We made it a list. We made a list, and it, that is var two is holding our list here. Here's var2, and it's a list. So what happens is our var2 is now pointing to an object which contains a list. In that list, it has the values of var and var1, the type information it says is a list. And then this object goes and points on points to another object. And that object is the integer of 9, which we created with var. I hope you guys understand that. I hope I didn't just confuse you. Now what happens, if you guys have any questions, please let me know about that. I'll try to clear it up. Um, now what happens if we stop using or we get rid of a variable? Well, Python goes through and has a cache system, like garbage collection type system that goes through. And if we're not no longer using an object or a variable, it just removes that to speed up the program. Um, it, it decides on its own how to free up memory. So if we're no longer using an object, our script or our program's not calling that object anymore, most likely Python's going to go ahead and remove it. But in some scenarios, say we got rid of var, we're not using that anymore, but 9 is still being called by this list down here, var1, that object's not going to go away because it's still being referenced from another location. So that's not going to go away. But that's not something you really need to worry about. That's something Python does, you know, in the back end there. And it's not something you need to worry about, but I just want you guys to be aware of that, how that happens. Um, is there anything else I need to cover here? Oh, when the, when the program runs, when the program runs here, basically we made this list here. VAR2 is assigned to var and var1. So when we run our program, the value is going to be like this. Um, var2 
points to a list of 9 and 9, which are pointing to objects that we explained earlier, to the object 9 up here. When the program runs, basically what happens here is we sign this, and then when we call var2, <clears throat> var2 is actually going to be replaced by this right here. And that's Python does that while the program is running. So hit return, and this is removed. The var2 disappears, technically, but we still see it and is replaced by 9. So basically when Python runs, the variable is replaced by the value. That's how it works. Uh, we'll get more into that in another tutorial, but that is just something I want to explain to you. So uh, just a quick overview. Let's go back up here and just review this one more time. A variable is just a name, a name tag, a reference, a pointer to an object, which is a some space of memory that contains the value, the type of information, and a counter. Uh, the counter we really don't need to worry about, but what it does is it just shows the reference to the variable. Okay? So we create a variable, we give it a name. It has to be assigned, it needs to be pointing to an object for it to work, to, for it to exist. Alright? If the variable um, disappears, the object may stay, stay there. All right. If we stop using the variable, the object may stay, stay there depending on if it's being used somewhere else, but that's something Python decides behind the scenes. Um, if an object disappears and a variable is not pointing to anything anymore, we're going to get an error. All right. So like I showed you earlier, if I do var3, which we did not create, and I call that, we're going to get var3 is not defined. Well, it's not defined because it's not pointing anywhere. So you know, Python saying, yo, we can't use that because it's not pointing anywhere. So if you guys have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.